Yes, students. Welcome to our video lecture. In the previous lecture, I taught you two important methods: linear upon quadratic and linear upon root quadratic. I think we have done up to sum number nineteen, and I am starting from question number twenty. Twenty-one. Now, students, the type of integral is linear upon root quadratic dx. And I am writing students question number twenty, which is integral x plus two upon square root of 4x minus x square dx. So, students, recall the basic algorithms. What is the first step? We express linear as n into d by dx of Quadratic plus n, where m belongs to R. So this is written as 4m minus twice m x plus n. So minus twice m x plus 4m plus n. Now compare coefficient of x is minus 2m here one. Minus 2m is equal to one. n is equal to minus 1 by 2 and 4m plus n is equal to 2 so n is equal to 2 minus 4m 2 minus 4 into minus 1 by 2 2 plus 2 becomes 4 so finally x plus 2 is written as minus 1 by 2 Into d by dx of 4x minus x square plus 4. So the value of integral becomes minus 1 by 2 into d by dx of 4x minus x square plus 4 divided by square root of 4x. Minus x square. Yes. Now what we were doing individual division. So this changes to minus one by two integration. Four x minus x square is to minus one by two into d by dx of four x minus x square is first term and the second term is integration. Yes. Square root of 4x minus x square. Now, students, what shall we do? This is always a standard formula which I have taught you. F x is to n. F dash x dx is f x is to n plus one upon n plus n plus c, where n not equal to Minus one here. Operate and find out last one. We get the square upon four into first term. So we complete a perfect square by adding and subtracting last term. So this is minus one by two into two. Why am I writing into two? Minus one by two plus one will be one by two. Upon one by two is into two. Plus four. Into dx, adding and subtracting last term. So 4 minus 4 plus 4x minus x square plus c. Now, if I take a minus sign common and write, this is under root of 4x minus x square. I will say the negative sign. This is integration of dx upon under root 2 square minus x minus 2 whole square plus c. So final answer is minus of 4x minus x square plus 
sine inverse of x minus 2 upon 2 plus so this is how we get the answer students you have already studied the method ok we are going for sum number 21 sum number students 21 it is x plus 2 upon 100 x square plus 2x plus n. ok integration x plus 2 upon under root of x square plus 2x plus 3 dx ok same concept linear is equal to m into d by dx of quadratic plus n where mn belongs to r so this changes to twice mx plus twice n plus n and this is x plus 2 comparing coefficient of x and comparing constant terms 2n is equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 by 2 and 2n plus n is equal to 2 so n is equal to 2 minus 2n so 2n is 1 so n will be 1 so finally x plus 2 is 1 by 2 into d by dx of x square plus 2x plus 3 plus 1 so the value of integral changes to 1 by 2 d by dx of x square plus 2x plus 3 plus 1 upon under root of x square plus 2x plus 3 dx now go for individual division as usual so this changes to 1 by 2 integration of x square plus 2x plus 3 is 2 minus 1 by 2 2 d by dx of x square plus 2x plus 3 dx plus 1 dx upon under root of x square plus 2x plus 3 last term is 1 adding and subtracting 1 LT is 1 and that much all of you can easily understand so I add and subtract so 3 minus 1 will become 2 now you can take both the terms at a time 1 by 2 into x square plus 2x plus 3 is 2 1 by 2 into 2 and this is x plus 1 the whole square now all of you understand this under root x square plus a square log mod x plus under root x square plus a square plus c this is our final answer now students one sum i leave as you work and that is question number 23 my intention is you practice that sum if you have any doubt you can call the students and you can discuss with me but I want all of you to do one sum on your own now students uh, remaining concepts 7.5 and 7.6 Done. Now, sir, I am starting exercise 7.7. And trust me, students, all the basics and the concepts remain always the same. Here, individual exercises are independent. So, don't worry how you will do 7.7 without 7.5 and 7.6, then I assure you. That if at all any application of 7.5 and 6 will be there, I will explain. But the exercise.
exercise are independent now students i am going to explain you three new formulas integration of under root x square plus a square dx second formula integration of under root x square minus a square dx and third formula integration of under root a square minus x square dx three formula students i am going to explain and this is very interesting trust me students this is very very interesting so students please pay attention the first term in the integral is x by 2 into given integral so x by 2 into the root x square is x square here x by 2 Integrate and here also x by two into the one integrand. Easily to memorize and whenever you are sitting to practice, students practice all these formulas at a time. Now, if in the integrand we have plus x square, I write plus a square by two. If we have minus a square, write minus a square by two. And if we have plus a square by plus a square by two, now reciprocal of the given integral, you take an is integral. What is reciprocal of under root x square plus a square one upon under root x square plus a square? Integration of one upon under root x square plus a square is log mod x plus the root. X square plus a square plus c. What is reciprocal of under root x square minus a square? One upon under root x square minus a square. Its integral is log mod x plus under root x square minus a square plus c. Same way, reciprocal of under root a square minus a square. Will be one upon under root a square minus x square. Its integral is sine inverse of x by a plus c. So this is how students we are going to apply this formula in exercise seven and seven. And trust me, these are the most important exercise for long sums. Now, students, I am starting with the exercise seven point seven, sum number one, which is integration of four minus x square dx. Okay. Second sum under root of one minus four x square dx. Okay. And third sum, which is under root of x square. Plus four x plus six dx. Then we will be doing three sums. Okay, now students, the first integral is under root of four minus x square, and which can be understood as under root of two square minus x square dx. So I have to apply. x by 2 into e1 integral a square is 4 by 2 into sine inverse of x by a plus c this is my answer this becomes 2 now that is easy we can understand a square by 2 a square is 4 By two, so we write two into sine inverse of x by two plus c. That is the answer. So that's all. 
Now, in the second question, I write this as under the top 1 minus twice x the whole square into dx. So the same formula, 1 is written as 1 square, so this becomes a square minus x square dx. The only thing which we have to remember, divided by the coefficient of x, which is 2 throughout. So, 1 by 2, 2. Why 1 by 2? Divided by the coefficient of x throughout. x by 2, instead of x, I have to write 2 x by 2 into d1 d grand plus a square by 2, a square is 1, sine inverse of 2x by 1 plus c, then cancel the square to the x of. So, students, this is the one answer. Why? I have divided by 2 outside. Whenever we have coefficient of x other than 1, in integration we divide by the coefficient of x. So, outside I have 2. So, if I multiply this 2 and write, then also this current, otherwise, keep as it is to this. And also, your answer is absolutely right. Now, this becomes of the general type. Concept and the method will say complete a perfect square by taking x square as first term and x term as middle term and find last term. To complete a perfect square, find last term. What is the formula of last term? Middle term square upon 4 into first term. So this will be 4. So if I add n sub. Or this will change to x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 6 minus 4x. So this changes to under the top x plus 2 the whole square plus a square. So root 2 square is 2. So now I will apply formula number 1 under the top x square plus a square. Wherever there is x, we have x by 2 or 1. Integrand plus a square by 2, 2 by 2, 1 log mod instead of x, we have x plus 2 into d1 square root term. So it is x square plus 4x plus 6 plus 3. This is the answer students. So the method of root quadrant or 1 upon quadratic or 1 upon root quadratic remains the same. 1 upon quadratic, 1 upon root quadratic and root of quadratic. The method remains the same. It is to complete a perfect square by again and subtracting the last one and do the sum. Okay. Now, Students, I am doing sum number 4, 5, and 6. Sum number 4. It is square root of x square plus 4x plus 1 dx. And fifth also, I am writing square root of 1 minus 4x minus x square dx. Okay, students. So, so, how to proceed? It is root quantity. Find last term by taking this as first term and this as middle term. Lt is equal to middle term square upon 4 into first term. So, it is 4. Add and subtract 4. x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 1 minus 4 dx to so this changes to under root of x plus 2 the whole square minus root 3 the whole square. So 
So second formula to apply x by 2, so x plus 2 by 2 into d1 integrand plus a square then plus a square by 2 minus a square then minus a square by 2 so minus 3 by 2 log mod x plus 2 into under root of x square plus 4x plus 1 plus c this is your answer students here also complete a perfect square last term is equal to middle term square upon 4 into first term so minus 4 so add x subtract 4 1 plus 4 minus 4 minus 4x four minus x square dx so 1 plus 4 is 5 5 is written as root 5 the whole square minus x plus 2 the whole square dx now I have applied the third formula students so the answer is x by 2 into given integrand plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x plus 2 by root 5 plus so nothing difficult students but the main part is to understand the method and concept before concluding the lecture once again I have explained the three formulas under root x square plus a square, under root x square minus a square, under root a square minus x square, x by 2, x by 2 into d1 integrand. If it is plus a square, then plus a square by 2, minus a square, then minus a square by 2 into integration of reciprocal of the given integrand. Reciprocal of root x square plus a square is 1 upon under root x square plus a square. That much you remember easily the formulas are memorized. We conclude here, do this sums twice, write formulas five times. Thank you students.